Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a new Envato Tuts Plus Quick Tip. I'm Adi Pordila and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create uh, perspective mockups in Sketch. And by perspective mockups I mean stuff like this. I'm sure you've seen this around. It's uh, mostly used to make a simple image look fancier by adding this 3D effect. But that's not the only thing you can use perspective mockups for. For example, let's say you're working on an iOS app and you want a hero image of someone, you know, actually holding an iPhone at an angle maybe, or it depends on an image. Um, and you want to showcase a screen of your app on that particular iPhone. So for example, an image like this. Well, doing this by hand is not very easy in Sketch, um, but fortunately there is a plugin called uh, Magic Mirror that's gonna help you achieve this effect very, very easily. So let me show you how it works. First of all, you need to install the plugin. You can do so from their website at magicsketch.io. You simply download, then install. It's like a normal app. Or the second way is to use Sketch Toolbox, which is a plugin manager for Sketch. You just search for Magic Mirror. Yeah. You hit install. Of course, I have it installed already. You hit install. You wait a little bit and it's going to be installed. Now, back inside Sketch, you will go to Plugins, Magic Mirror 2, Enable, Magic Mirror. Now, Magic Mirror is basically this thing. And the way it works, is very simple. You define an area of an image with four corners and then you select that area and you specify an artboard. And the plugin will take the contents of that artboard and it's gonna place it in that shape. It's very very simple. So for example, let's say that I have this square here, right? And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna edit some points, and I'm gonna make it look like it's in perspective, right? So something like this. And then what I can do, I can select it and I can go in here, select an artboard. I'm gonna select this iPhone 7 Plus artboard. Yeah, and as you can see, the, the plugin placed that graphic in a format like this, right? So let's go ahead and delete that and create something a bit more realistic. So I'm gonna um, zoom in here to this picture. I'm going to select the vector tool and I'm going to draw a shape. I'm going to try to make it as perfect as I can. Now, depending on the image you're using, this might be easier or harder. For example, here I made a little error. I need to bring this in more to the left. Yeah, and then click here and close the path. Now with the path selected, I'm gonna get rid of my border and I'm gonna select the artboard iPhone 7 Plus. And then that's gonna place this image in here. Now with it, I can do a few things. I can flip it if I want. There you go. I can actually see it. Oops, let's actually zoom in here. Yeah, so if I flip it, you see that it flips it horizontally. I can also flip it or rotate it by 90 degrees at a time, like this. And I can also choose uh, its size. So if I'm dealing with a higher resolution graphic, I can choose 2x, for example, or max. But you should know that 2x and max are uh, currently only available in the Pro version. But everything else is there. Um, now, for the options, you also have this button here, which will actually take you uh, to the artboard, so you can quickly make an edit if you need to. And then you have this button here, which will actually disable the plugin. Now, a very cool thing about this plugin is its templates. So if you go to their website and you hit templates here, uh, you're going to find a bunch of pre-made templates by the community, um, which some are free, some you have to pay for. For example, this one is $10, but there are a bunch of free ones that are actually very good. So you have a bunch of devices, like you have the Apple Watch here, um, 
I have, as you can see, a bunch of stuff. There was a MacBook there, there's an iPhone, there was one with a tablet here as well. So there are a bunch of templates you can grab from their website, you download, you open in Sketch, and you use this plugin and you create some very, very cool mockups. And that's it, that's how you can use this plugin. I hope you found this quick tip useful. I'm Adi Pordila and thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.